Hi there everyone. Welcome to Engineering with Pritam. Today in this video, we will talk about free CAD settings or some of the settings that one should do whenever we install or launch free CAD for first time. These settings will make your free CAD slightly more personalized based on your need. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we can see we already have started free CAD. And if you want to see how to download and install, then I have created a separate video and I will put the link of that video in the description of this one. From there, you can also check out how you can download and install it for free. Now, coming back to our topic that how we can personalize it or what are some of settings that are going to improve our productivity such that we repeatedly do not require to make those changes. So in order to apply those settings, the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my default workbench. In most of scenario, we start with either Sketcher or Par Design. Then I would like to set that particular workbench as my default screen. So whenever I click on New, it should start with my default workbench. So since I already have enabled that, therefore you can see the background color look different and as I clicked on new, the software started with Power Design Workbench. So this is some of the tweak that I did and let me quickly show you how you also can do that. For that, we just need to go edit and then go to preference and then here if I go to start. Here I can define which workbench you want to start with. So by default it is start and if I apply and let me just close it. So next time whenever I start FreeCAD and try to create a new file. So it will basically start with same start workbench. And now here I need to switch my workbench from start to part design. So this is the time I will be saving by defining my default workbench. In your case, maybe because of different use case, you may choose a different workbench as starting. Let's say you work in 3D printing and reverse engineering. Maybe for them, reverse engineering will be more preferable default workbench. So based on your need, you can set it up. In my case, I'm going to keep it again part design and let me hit apply in this way i can set up my favorite workbench now let's see these preference setting from start so let me click here on general so here what we have is um, some of basic setting for example from here you can change the language um, so these are the language which it support so unfortunately i cannot see hindi here but still i would say there are plenty of languages that this software support so let me turn it to deutsch and let's see how it look and now here we can see uh, it now got converted to german and we can witness everything is now in german now let me again go back to preferences and change it from deutsch to english now again let me apply it and there we go the language change instantly coming to next setting which is unit system here you can define your default unit system of preference in most of the cases maybe they are happy to use millimeter kg second and degree but let's say you are from usa or maybe in your country or your company you use different unit system then you can choose that particular one so for me i'm gonna keep it as it is and then from here you can define the number of decimal um, especially it is helpful in case of dimensioning in a similar way you can see other settings here we also have themes option let's say you want to choose any particular theme you can simply select that and can apply so now i just have applied black theme so that's why the whole interface now turned black you can also use classic theme or light theme as well so based on your preference or taste you can choose these themes as well now um, let me actually choose the dark one as now the text is more visible or readable i would say now in document here we have got this document save compression level which is going to define the compression level i would say you keep these setting as it is 
now let's go to selection in selection also here you can define the pick radius now here we have got this catcher defined you can define the amount of catch that you want for this app um again i would say you can define it based on your need then here we can see we have got this notification area customization settings and report view coming to display here there are some of very important settings that you need to take care of the first one i would say is anti-aliasing so by default it is none so if you're going to keep it none then for sure you may not see smooth lines or edges turning anti-aliasing on and especially at max level will ensure that you see smooth edges apart from that you can also turn on this use software opengl in case if you are not using graphic card or you have some issue with your graphic card so in that case the setting is really useful i'm gonna deselect it because i did not face any graphic card related issues now here coming to workbench here as well we can define our startup workbench so again based on our need uh, we can define it as a part design or we can define based on our need now coming to python the python here help us to run macro in local environment so i'm gonna say for now let's keep it as it is coming to add-on manager the add-on manager allow you to install and manages add-on inside this application for the time being again i'm gonna keep it as it is now coming to import setting so here we have got different different import setting customization for example this ifc import ifc export dae dxf dwz and 3d imports such as igs and step as well so here we can define or customize our imports now coming to start here you can further customize your ui for example let's say you do not like this particular font then based on your need you can define your default font family for example arial helvetica or sans let me define sans here so i'm gonna write sans and then um, from here i can actually increase the text size as well so these texts now look slightly bigger so in this way we can customize this page now let's click here on this part part design so here i would recommend you to check these three settings um, which says that automatically refine model after boolean operation and automatically refine model after sketch base operation so this will basically enable model to refresh after we perform either boolean operation or sketch based operation or we can say parametric operation similarly we have got this maximum deviation depending on the model bounding box which is a part of tessellation which is more of appearance related setting then again here we have got this shape appearance setting from here you can define the default color of the 3d product that you're going to make similarly um, here we have option to customize the dimensional color similarly here we also have option for measurement setting for 3d color delta color and angular color now moving to sketcher mode here again i would say some of important setting that we should consider is um you know customizing these colors so maybe you do not like the default color then you can create your own custom theme or color in short you can customize the how the creating line should look like how the coordinate system look like and so on now um let's keep it as it is or let's say you anytime face the issue you can always perform reset okay the last setting that i would like to discuss with you guys is size of these toolbar icon you can always control these sizes by applying the one that you prefer so you have extra large icon option available small option available which now have made these icons on the ribbon bar pretty small so based on your need you can define the size of these icons so in this way guys we can customize the interface of precad here we have got this option of saving um, your own customization as a theme so 
you can do that after making you know all the customization that we have discussed so let me cancel it or even let's say you want to save it then it will be a part of this theme family although you can always click on manage and delete that now here you also have an option to import the config so let's say you have config file you can then import your own set of themes and settings now let me click ok here that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will catch you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye